visit ticketcompare.com. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. Ticketcompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Uh, in terms of Joe, um, of course, a difficult call. He um, he's played in most of our qualifying matches. Um, has been a big part of England's team in the last few years. Uh, has been a really good, valued member of the squad. Um, but of course, in the end, I've got to look at the performances over the course of the last 18 months with the players' clubs. Um, various things that go in your mind as a manager when you're picking a, a team and picking a squad. And uh, in the end, the three lads we've picked have been the three best goalkeepers in the league this year, English goalkeepers. Um, so n- not a conversation he wanted to have or I wanted to have, but they're the calls you have to make as a manager. Um, well, he's of course been in our thoughts we selected him in March um, but of course he hasn't played a game for us Um, we've been really pleased with the way the team played in uh, November and in March in particular we think we're heading on a a good pathway pleased with the individuals that played within it Um, and the only midfield player we've added into that is Fabian Delph who has had an outstanding season with Manchester City as champions Um, so you know, Jack, I thought, had a good spell uh, in the lead up to Christmas and just after. I think not not as effective uh, towards the end of the season. Um, and we think the other guys have, have played very well and deserve their place in the squad. Is- yeah, Adam is... Um, I mean, I've had, you know, continual dialogue with Adam through the season, you know, really close and uh, personal conversations because it's been a really frustrating season for him. Um under normal circumstances given the amount of football he's played he wouldn't be anywhere near the squad or the standby list but he's a a player and a person we have a hell of a lot of time for